Hi everyone, Dave with FileWave here. I'm going to walk you through our new product, FileWave Lightning. So FileWave Lightning allows you to use Thunderbolt to image your Macs directly across the Thunderbolt cable. You can also connect Macs up via FireWire 800 or USB or even eSATA uh, if that's what you have available. Uh, so it allows you to image across a wide range of directly connected devices. One of the cool features about Lightning is that it allows you guys to uh, build images that are untouched. So these are images that you create from installer media for 10.7 or 10.8 machines. You can also pull in existing images that you've already created through other tools such as Carbon Copy Cloner or Deploy Studio. Importing those images directly into Lightning is just a matter of dragging them, dropping them right into your imaging library. But today we're going to create a fresh image for a 10.8 machine with a couple of extra packages installed on top of it. So let's start that process. So we're gonna click Create. We're gonna grab our uh, Mountain Lion installer and just drag it right into Lightning. Once that installation media has been pulled in, we're gonna go ahead and find the applications that we wanna add as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some self-contained apps. Uh, Firefox, just drag that guy over. Text Wrangler. him over and also Chrome so we'll grab Chrome in as well I also have a couple of packages that I want to install as well for uh, iWork so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and I'm gonna install the iWork package first and then the iWork update after so I'm dragging in the package first for iWork and the update right after so really easy to pull those in we also want to create a user account on this image and we're going to disable the welcome screen so that our users don't have to go through that process so we're just going to call this account admin we're going to make the password admin but don't tell anyone and of course we'll confirm that password once we're ready to go we're going to go ahead and create our image set so we'll click create you'll notice that the notification option popped up and let us know for 10.8 hey we've started the image creation process so we'll go through this image creation process i'm going to fast forward this part of it for you obviously and uh, and then we'll get to deploying out our image out to our client machines All right, so now you can see that our image has finished creating and you can see it listed here in our imaging library. Now, of course, remember any other ones we had created for 10.7 or ones with additional items or anything like that would be listed in this library as well. So when we're ready to deploy out one of our images that we've built, we simply select it and we're going to click deploy. Now, what Lightning will do by default is start searching for any connected volumes. One of the th cool things about Lightning is that you can have it automatically detect volumes continuously so that as you're finishing with one volume, you can remove it and connect the next volume and make those changes. Uh, we're going to exclude all internal volumes. That means if I have multiple drives connected to my uh, deployment machine that I'm using here, that those drives won't be picked up. And of course, I can auto restore each connected volume if I want or it can be asked if I want to choose to do that. So since I'm only going to be restoring a couple of uh, machines today with this uh, new setup, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave the auto restore unchecked so you can see how that will look. So I'm going to hook this Mac up via Thunderbolt. This is a 2012 MacBook Air. It's booted into target disk mode. So we'll plug in the cable here. We should see our volume listed. All right, so our MacBook Air is now hooked up and connected, and we're ready to go ahead and uh, and image that volume. So once that pops up, we'll go ahead and click Restore. So from here, it will restore the uh, installation out to the MacBook Air. You can see that it's counting the amount of time elapsed during the deployment. All right, so in under 60 seconds, we've deployed that image directly out to our client machine, ready to go, and we can plug in the next one and continue forward. Now remember, if you were gonna do a lot of these, you'd wanna go ahead and click the auto restore option, and then when you plug one of the machines in, it would automatically restore, connected, and ready to go. So Lightning is free. Feel free to go to filewave.com and download it and uh, have fun with it. Uh, let us know what you like. There's a forum section for you to be able to use. We'd love to hear any success stories or feature requests that you'd like to add to the product. We think it's just a really cool tool and an easy way to do Thunderbolt imaging.